Today we are heading to new territory as we will be looking at some of the latest LEGO Star Wars leaks over on Reddit. I personally do not have a Reddit account, I tried to stay away from only a few platforms and Reddit is quite high up there, especially when it comes to LEGO because I'm sure there's a load of lovely builds but for the most part regarding Star Wars, Reddit isn't the best platform. Today we will be looking specifically at some of the fake leaks that have come across Reddit because some of these would make amazing sets and some of these are a bit silly and were purely uploaded just to get a few clicks. So without further ado, let's take a look at the first post. And all these posts have been gathered using the fake slash custom slash not a leak tag over on Lego Star Wars leaks. If you would like more posts like this, I'm sure there's some other subreddits that we could perhaps take a look at regarding Lego and Star Wars. Do let me know in the comments and if you do end up enjoying the video, drop a like and subscribe for more awesome Lego content a bit different to this video. The first post is, well, there's a few posts with a few images and I believe this is one of them. So the first image we're looking at is this fake leak of a Bantha. Now, I'm not quite sure what the set numbers apply to, 75392. If any of these set numbers do actually link to a set that's already come out, I'll be sure to display that on screen for you, just so you can see how different the sets were. But this supposed Bantha set is meant to be 809 pieces. That's quite a big Bantha build, at least when you compare it to the small micro fighter Bantha that I've got in my hand. Probably barely uses 1819 pieces if I were to count them up, but this 809 piece Bantha would supposedly retail for $90, which is a bit on the expensive side, I think, but I would assume there'd be a few larger pieces with two Tuscan Raiders and a young Leia as the 25th anniversary figure. Well, we have seen the young Leia in a Star Wars promo, so there's a good chance we are getting her as an anniversary figure. I mean, this was posted two months ago. That was before we saw that clip, and it was meant to be coming out August 1st. So perhaps they mistook this for a Star Destroyer. Who knows? But I think a large Bantha would actually be a really, really cool set. I'm looking over at the Patronus and even the Dobby figure. It's in a similar line to the Builder Droids, but we can actually get some animals and different Star Wars creatures built using Lego bricks. The Bantha would be a great one. The Tauntaun. Tauntauns would be amazing. They wouldn't come with two Tuscan Raiders, for instance, because they're not building a minifigure scale Bantha. Perhaps it would come with one exclusive Tuscan on a stand, or perhaps even a molded Bantha in the set. I think the Tuscan would be a better grab. To see a Bantha, to see a Torn Torn, we could even get, I'll tell you what, from Return of the Jedi, I'm very surprised they haven't given us a buildable wicket. Like with Yoda, like with Grogu, I'd like to see an Ewok buildable character as well, and I think that would be amazing. So I'd actually really like this one to be a set. But there are a few others here. I said about making this before, I will probably eventually turn this into a mock of some sort. It's a large ship, so perhaps we'll have to clear the shelf first. But the Remora is Echo's ship or Rex's ship. I think it's typically given as Echo's ship from the Bad Batch. It does say Echo ship in Bad Batch. 75400 again. I have no idea if that's already a set. 1,304 pieces, seven minifigures, the only known being Gregor and Echo. They could have at least given us a few other named clones to get us excited for this set. Like Hauser, we could have got another Rex with perhaps a poncho and some updated armor. They could have even given us just the other five members of the Bad Batch. Hunter, Crosshair, Wrecker, Omega, and... Well, I guess we couldn't have got all five of them. But they could have thrown in someone like Hauser to fill that gap. I think the Remora would make a great ship. And if LEGO are looking at a Bad Batch set for Season 3, it's got to be the Remora. We had the Marauder, which was the Bad Batch shuttle for the Season 1 set. We then got the Justifier at an unjustifiable price for Season 2. The Remora would be a great Bad Batch Season 3 set. The Dagger Vessel would be if we didn't get Maul's Infiltrator for Phantom Menace because the ships are so close that 
they're not going to want the both of them on the shelf. It's a bit like Yoda's Starfighter and Anakin's Interceptor. They're so close to each other, Lego don't want both of them on the shelf at the same time. Or like having two playset scale Millennium Falcons. So I think the Remora would be a great Bad Batch Series 3 set. They could even whack in a clone assassin because of the whole deal that went down on Teth. Probably even give us a Wolfie minifigure because we do have a design for Phase 2 Lego Wolf and so far he's yet to show up. I think he's the only one out of the five of them that doesn't have an actual minifigure based on that design. Now the next ship is a set that so many people have been waiting for for so long. In fact, I still have my 20th anniversary Boba Fett Starship, which I recolored to be Django's Slave 1. And if you are confused with the name choices, Boba Fett Starship was only ever referred to as Slave 1 in the Expanded Universe comics when he had Slave 2 and I think he had quite a few ships that he named after his father's ship, but Django's the only one that called it Slave 1. That's why Lego Wax Starship on the box rather than Slave 1, but we definitely need a Django Fett Slave 1. If the next Attack of the Clones anniversary lines up with a UCS set, we could probably even get a UCS Slave 1 because it sizes up quite near to the Falcon, depending on what material you get it from, and we definitely need a Slave 1 Lego set sometime soon. But this fake rumor was meant to be a microfighter build with a Django Fett. Django Fett is too much of a very much wanted figure to whack in a microfighter. We want a playset scout at the very least. Django, Young Boba, whack in a few more Kaminoans and other characters. They could even give us someone like Dooku from the Geonosis Arena and whack him in the set just as an extra minifigure. I want at least five minifigures with a Django Fett play scale. I know I'm asking for a lot, but a microfighter I don't think does the Slave 1 justice, especially because we've only recently got Boba Fett's microfighter Slave 1, which was the first set review on the channel. I did a short on it and you can still watch that. I'm not quite sure if you can filter by oldest on shorts, but it is still up if you did want to check it out. So it would be nice to get another similar sized microfighter, but I think Django Fett Slave 1 would definitely be more of a larger set. Now the last fake leak is actually a really cool one, the N1 Naboo Starfighter. I think Mando's Starfighter is still on shelf, so this would have to be released after that one retires. Again, Lego aren't going to want two N1 Naboo Starfighters, even though one's yellow and silver and one's grey, it's probably going to end up being yellow and grey anyway, so it's just too close to the Mandalorian one, which to be fair, it's a cool set and I'd love for them to just remake that set, recolor it and not have to mess around with a few pieces. There are definitely some sets like the Star Destroyer coming out later this year. They could definitely recolor a few pieces to make it look a bit battle worn and just add Thrawn, Ezra, Enoch and a few of their special troopers in the set. I'd love to get a few recolored Star Wars models especially when it comes to the Slave 1 Boba Fett ship and all the different Falcons. Sometimes a recolouring is all it takes. And of course, to switch up the minifigures a bit. But this N1 would have come with five minifigures. Five minifigures for $50, 401 pieces. We're looking at a similar set to the Tantive Boarding playset, which in itself is an amazing set. And I definitely recommend if you haven't picked it up already. It would have come with young Anakin, two battle droids, R2, and an unknown minifigure. Probably the unknown minifigure, if LEGO were to release a set like this, would be a pilot, just in case you didn't want Anakin in the cockpit. And I guess we all have enough R2s that R2 can be left in the ship. There's actually a fun fact about the droids in this. Did you know that they extend their necks to be able to fit in these ships. So if we did get a playset like this from Lego, I'd love a feature where the droid body just clips underneath and you put the astromech dome on top because that's not too far off to how they are in universe. But once again, it's a fake leak. So they've picked a ship that everybody would like to see. And if we got a few more chrome pieces or perhaps Lego could do a one-off spray paint for the chrome pieces that you can do at home a sort of at home kit i don't know if it'd do well enough for them to continue doing it but i think for a one-off that'd be a pretty fun experience now on to the next post 
we've got one that is more of a meme than a leak and it's a bit of a jokey one a Kathleen Kennedy versus Watto mech battle which was meant to include Rebo as the 25th anniversary figure and as the title says in the current state of leaks they could totally see this happening because leaks are always all over the place so many of these are just rumors that someone starts because especially if they've got a following for doing leaks that have some sort of validity there's going to be points where there's no leaks to be got i mean i mean lego have really started cracking down on leaks and barely anything is coming out about the sets before lego tees or post an official image or an image is found on the lego store site but this is hilarious first off i would like to see a few more of the kathleen kennedy george lucas dave filoni all the other creators at star wars i'd like to see some sort of figures for them because i do think it's quite nice what they've done with kevin feige for instance and i know that did cost lego quite a chunk of money the rumor is that's why they haven't done anything for stan lee for example in the daily bugle there is no stan lee minifigure because to get the rights to use the actual person rather than just an ip that someone may have created is a lot a lot of money so perhaps there's an issue there but even in the visual dictionaries or something like that to have a minifigure representing a creator rather than a popular character because most of the visual dictionaries get released into sets eventually anyway so i think it'd be a great chance to make official minifigures i know there is a george lucas one out there which is very very rare only given to a handful of people including george lucas himself but i would like to see a few more of these and as for a Watto mech, I think that would look really, really cool. You've seen it in the thumbnail. I did find a fan design created after this post. And though I would love Watto to come in a Watto shop set, I think we are well overdue a little Watto shop with a few different pit droids, perhaps another version of Anakin, though we have got quite a few recently and a few other different species from Tatooine. I think a Watto mech would be hilarious, especially because the image I saw came with a blown up chance cube, which is definitely something they'd have to include. Whilst we're on this, actually, I do want to speak about a Jubba's Sal barge because every single year for the last three or four years, there's been a Jubba's Sal barge rumored for the UCS set. Now, last year and three years ago it wouldn't be possible because they were doing it based on the prequels the ucs sort of flip-flops we get one every year for may which is pretty much always an original trilogy and then the second one every year flip-flops between original trilogy and prequel trilogy now it is back to original trilogy this year if they keep up this pattern they be in lego and everyone would love for a jubba sal barge as i've said it's been rumored for years so lego know we want one and can definitely have been working on one for the last few years and Rebo could come with that but I think the problem with a UCS Jubba Sal Barge is it wouldn't come with a load of minifigures if it's a UCS set it's gonna have mostly a Technic interior and won't be minifigure heavy like a large playset but rather would just look really really cool really really detailed from the outside and feature things like the turret on the top of the cell barge for instance probably even have a little micro skiff that could be displayed on the outside a bit similar to the Tantiv on the star destroyer ucs set personally i would rather have a jubbers cell barge play set which would be a bit cheaper a lot smaller and would include a lot of the minifigures you can see people asking for. Now, the next leak I do want to speak about because it's less about the actual content on your screen and more about fake leaks in general. By the looks of the time that this was revealed, it was before LEGO had announced it in that cool LEGO Star Wars poster that did give away a few different sets like the Battle Pack and the Troopers we can be expecting but we'd already got phase two plane helmets at this point. So this could have been an old helmet, the new legs we already got on the gunner with the ATTE and the torso isn't even shown. So a lot of people will take parts from other characters that would line up to be used. The plane legs of the gunner were definitely going to be used on the trooper, whack them in an image and try to convince other people that they've got the figure. And let's be honest if this person did actually have the figure i'm sure one of the bigger youtubers would be paying them to ship it to them 
so they can review it first on their channel. But something that's been rumored for ages, I mean, this post dates back six months and is meant to have four of the minifigures that will be on the 25th anniversary. Malak and Fives we already have, and by this point, Fives was probably announced by LEGO or leaked to some fashion. And we also have Revan and Maul. Now, we have no signs on either of these returning. And I don't think Revan will because Revan's already been a May 4th polybag minifigure. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think we've seen any of the May 4th exclusive minifigures return. Even as recent as Aunt Baru for the exclusive Aunt Baru kitchen when the UCS land speeder released. So we probably won't be seeing any of these. Same with Old Master Maul, another minifigure that was in a poly bag. Rebels is quite some time ago, so it makes sense that we won't be getting these in any sets, but they've already got their exclusive minifigures out there and aren't minifigures that really need to be created. When we got a look at the characters from the trailer, Cal Kestis, Ezra Bridger definitely belongs in a set, but a character like Young Leia, they're minifigures that haven't been done in LEGO before. It'd be very hard to create accurate customs of them. Cal, you can get close. You've seen my custom, but the blue on the sides of the torso is definitely something that I appreciate LEGO printing. Very similar designs on that blue torso to the torso that I used in my custom. And they don't fit with the other two. Fives Maluk never had a minifigure and they don't line up for a set. LEGO are doing a bunch of Clone Wars themed sets and we are getting characters like Commander Cody, like Rex, which are fan favorites. Fives is a peg just below them and all the other commanders like Wolf, like Gregor. So the chances are they won't be giving us any other named troopers besides captains and commanders. And same with Maluk. We're barely getting any sets for the new LEGO games. They're not going to do one on KOTOR. It would be lovely if they did, but we've now got a Malak and a Revan, and LEGO now own Bricklink, so they can see that Revan is quite a popular minifigure over there for people to be buying or trying to part out for cheaper. Even if you don't want to go for the official Revan, there are ways of custom making them, which for characters like Fives are very, very hard to do. And even Darth Malak, you could create a custom of really any minifigure but getting Darth Maluk's missing jaw accurately well that's just something I don't think Lego have printed on a different head so I'm excited to see the other minifigures of course since then we've got Saw Gerrera and I think that's it at the time of recording this video though I'm sure if Lego were to do what they usually do when I record they've probably published all of the anniversary minifigures by the time this is uploaded. And though I said LEGO probably won't do any named ones, I would like to see a few different legions. There was a fake leak of a 327th legion clone, which does look pretty, pretty cool. And next year is the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. I am so hoping we get a load of battle packs or sets for some of the legions we see during the order 66 scenes with ki Adi mundi ayla sakura even a plo Koon starfire i would love lego to go ham on order 66 sets we got our first one this year with keller and beck and grogu in the bark speeder escape and i think they have opened the doors wide for what we can receive next year now speaking of order 66 that was also technically the first publicly available lego set i did do a video on the first lego jedi temple build which was a set that was available all the way back in 2013 but i think next year if we were to get a micro jedi temple with a dark side anakin or perhaps even they could whack someone like apo in this set as he was the clone trooper we see talking to bow so there would be some relevance in it i think this would make a great set next year as for the price for this fake leak and how micro scale it is 160 dollars for a micro scale jedi temple we're speaking like a little aladdin scene here for $160, I'm not quite sure that this leak at all adds up. And it does mention including Yaddle. Yaddle would be a great figure to get alongside something like this. Or even any of the other Jedi Council members. I'll tell you what, a micro scale Jedi Temple for $160, if it included the full Jedi Council from either Phantom Menace, preferably Attack of the Clones, or Revenge of the Sith, that would be amazing. With all their minifigures, I think 
that would probably justify the price for me. But of course, it is a fake leak. The Jedi Temple hasn't popped up significantly in anything recently. It's been sprinkled out a few times, like in The Mandalorian. We then see it in a few of the Star Wars games recently, a few of the shows, I'm sure. The next movie will probably have a giant shot of the temple, no matter where it is, because it tends to be popping up everywhere, but hasn't played a significant role anywhere except for Grogu's flashback, which even then the focus of the set is on the bark speeders rather than the amazing Jedi Temple build we get alongside it. And last but not least, we have this leak of a Z-95 clone Starfighter. Again, I think this is a great opportunity to come with a few different clones. We got one, we got one a while back with Pong Crow, I think, in the 501st. I'd love to see a different clone Legion, although I would like to see another set referencing the Umbara arc. I think getting another Legion of Clones would be really cool. I think allegedly this is also what the 327th was meant to be paired with. So I definitely think we should save that for an Order 66 scene next year. But a Z95 would be really, really cool to get. We need it to pop up in another one of these shows. Perhaps Skeleton Crew can have a beaten up Z95 flying around and someone from that show can own one of them so that we get it in a Lego set and could possibly even see a Clone Wars variant released later on. But let me know what you thought down in the comments about some of these leaks. I do think that some of these leaks are just excited fans letting everyone know what they want and some people just run with it and think we're getting an official set. Let me know what sets you would like to see down in the comments and drop a like if you would like to see more and subscribe for some really cool Star Wars mocks coming your way. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. And may the bricks be with you, always.